Okay, what it's doing now is it's speeding up the water flow to the tank and it's flushing the excess salt water out of the tank. So I'm going to shut the light off again. Put the light back behind it. And you can see the resin levels there. So the water is actually moving through this pretty quickly and it's flushing all the excess salt out of the system so your water doesn't taste salty when the uh, system comes back into service. And um, it goes through this cycle for about uh, seven or eight minutes. And then after it does that, it refills the tank with water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed things up a little bit and uh, go ahead and put the system back into uh, brine tank refill so you can see the tank filling back up with uh, with water. I'm going to manually go ahead and put it into uh, refill. So it's slowly filling that tank with water. Going to go ahead and let it uh, let the video camera go for a while, and it's kind of a little bit of a slow process. Water softeners aren't exactly the uh, most fascinating thing to film as far as uh, excitement goes, but they're very interesting. They perform a useful service, and uh, once you get one, you're going to wonder how you did without one. Okay, you can see the uh, water slowly rising inside the brine tank here. Now this water softener is set for 12 pounds of salt per regeneration. That's the standard setting we use. A little bit of an explanation as, uh, as to why your water feels slippery when it comes through a water softener. Water softeners add a little bit of sodium to the water. It's 7.86 per grain per gallon of water that it's uh, removing the hardness out of. So if your, grain, if your water has one grain per gallon of hardness, 7.86 milligrams per liter of sodium is being discharged into the water. In other words, if you have your average hard water, which is about 20 grains per gallon, what you're going to get is about the equivalent of, of, of one slice of white bread worth of sodium. That's about 180 milligrams per liter of sodium which is actually quite low considering that's in a liter of water. Um, also the reason the water feels slippery coming out of a water softener is the, um, the sodium reacts with the sodium stearate soaps which is just the regular like ivory type soaps. Um, the, the harder your water is when it's softened the slipperier the water is going to be. So if your water is not that hard to begin with it's not going to be extremely slippery but if you have harder water then it's it's going to be pretty slippery now some people like the slippery feeling some people don't um, I can't make it slippery enough for some people and some people they they like to have that slippery feel and cut back a little bit that can be done with some minor modifications uh, turning the salt back um, you know we can do a couple minor things you know setting the electronics inside the system but um, what I suggest to people is that you try the synthetic body washers that don't contain soap and you'll find it doesn't have a slippery feeling and uh, that's the best way to uh, to uh, overcome that slippery feeling of the water but that slippery feeling is not soap it's um, it's kind of a complicated uh, process I'd have to explain in a in another video segment this is uh, this is what you got when you have a water softener so this uh, this water softener is getting ready to uh, stop filling the tank with water and then it's, uh, it's going to be finished with its uh, brine refill mode and then it's going to go back into uh, conditioned water, going to go back into service and be ready, for, uh, be ready for use in the house. Okay there you have it. That's about the best explanation you're going to find online about how a water softener operates. For more information, you can always look at our website, which is www 
dot ifixh2o.com that's www dot ifixh2o dot com again this is Scott Handy and you've seen an explanation of our 32,000 grain electronic demand water softener with 30 micron pre-filter and GAC carbon post filter I thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see you next time